All right, for those of us who go to restaurants and have worked in restaurants, now some of these I've, I've never done, but these are the 10 things, the rudest things you can do in a restaurant. Okay. Number 10, flirt with the staff, which I'm sure happens. If you work in a restaurant, it's like, oh, yeah, he's kind of flirty. Okay. Number nine, you stay forever. You've already eaten. You've had all your drinks. You drank all the water, and you're still there talking. And they want to clear things out, and they want to move on, but you're still there. Number eight, you leave the table messy. If you have kids, it's going to be a mess. Okay, but I, true, you know this is true, I don't leave it messy. I mean, I can't clean everything up, right, but I, I right stack now. up the plates. I make sure all yep. the, the utensils are on there. I put, like, the napkins on top. So at least uh-huh. things, and I pull them to the front of the table if it's, like, a booth so they don't have to, like, climb across everything. Because yep. I already know my kids are animals, and they're going to have to vacuum underneath and whatnot. So uh-huh. I try to make I it know. more accessible and easier. If you have a reservation, you show up late. See, that's ridiculous because you told them when you're coming. Now you've set off the rest of the night for everyone else. You bring your own food and drink. If you have little kids or uh, maybe health issues, uh-huh. maybe. Other than that, no. Yeah. Makes me think of the Seinfeld episode. I know. No outside condiments. You're snapping your fingers. That's rude. Hey, hey, over here. Hey. hey Uncle Leo used to do yeah. that. Um, Jojo. Hey, Jojo. Closing time has come and gone. They closed at 8. Mm-hmm. It's 8.30, and you're still there. They want you to leave. They do because yeah. they want to go home. They've already been uh-huh. working that whole shift. They're ready. Number three, uh, you argue over prices. The ones you're arguing with. It's not their job. No, it's they, not. It's a set price. Number two, you refuse to pay for the food you you ate. Okay, it, I have. A, it wasn't good. I'm not paying for that. I have a massive pet peeve with this. You cleaned your whole plate. You're done. That plate is no, now virtually empty, no. and you're like, "That was a garbage meal." I'm not salty. paying. That is ridiculous. Why did you eat the whole thing? That a few bites in, maybe you ate one thing on the plate, but the other thing is that push it back right then. What are you doing? And then the worst thing, the rudest thing you can do at a restaurant is let your kids roam around. I'm sorry. I will make sure Dave sits still no, next time. You're, you're sitting there trying I to know. eat and there's this random kid talking to you. It's like, go away. Whose kid is this? Oh yeah. Not, not just me. I'm talking about other people. You don't but, randomly talk no, to anybody. Right. But people know that. <laughs> Put the kid in the high chair. Don't let the kid wander around. No. Or you're, if they're you're bored because you're waiting for the no. food, you got to go with them. Like, all right, let's right. walk to the bathroom. Let's exactly. do whatever. Don't, don't let them have free reign. Because no one likes that. Well, they don't. It makes them uncomfortable. Exactly. I don't know this kid. I don't know this kid. What if they reach over and touch my plate or my food? Yes. What if they, I, and there's, yeah, yeah, I get it. Get more info and you can share your own too of the rudest things you can do at a restaurant right now. Yes, FM, Facebook, exit 967, Yes, FM, and the Mers in the Morning page at yesfm.com.